This has to be one of the most beautiful Airbnbs we've ever stayed at. Okay, first things first, let's give you a house tour. Are you subscribed yet? If not, what are you waiting for? Treehouse is actually just on someone's property. It's like in the garden of their house. And up until now, I've totally forgotten that I'm just like in the back of someone's yard. I really just felt like I was in some forest somewhere random. It's incredible. Welcome in. When you first walk in, you have this amazing, amazing kitchen. It's just, it's small, but it's not too small. Lots of counter space, there's a fridge, there's a stove, there's an oven. And my favorite thing about it is that wherever you're cooking, this is your view. I mean, crazy. So this is actually a tent. So as you can see here, there's walls separating the rooms, but like covering to the outside, it's tent material. So all down here you have a bug net and a cover but we've not closed it once and the owners told us that nobody does everyone likes to keep it open over here we have our open plan living room and dining room so this is where we eat dinner again with a sick view there is the first fireplace here which is really awesome because it's, oh, that's heavy. I wasn't expecting that. So you have a fireplace here, so when you're hanging out, you can put a fire, because it is a little cold here, just because we're surrounded by this, by trees, and we're in this little valley. valley. It's really cozy. And the thing that I think is just the coolest is look at our bedroom. It's because this whole morning we've kind of been smoking ourselves out by accident. We put in this one piece of log where it's not burning, it's just creating smoke. I don't know what that's called, but it's a thing where some logs don't burn and they just make a smoke show, so it's a bit smoky. Fireplace, I mean at the foot of your bed. So cool. And you have a cozy bed. It's so, so comfortable. And then, actually, the better entrance to the bathroom is this way. Semi outdoor bathroom. You have this awesome tub. Definitely have to use this before we go. And the water is all solar powered, so that's great for the environment and really awesome. Here you have an outdoor shower, but it's not too outdoors. It's perfect. You'd think that it'd be buggier because it's outside, but we haven't seen one bug inside our place. We saw a wasp, but luckily, as I said, we are smoking ourselves out, so the wasp left. And then last, but certainly not least, is our balcony. And yeah, that's Don Chorus. So you'd think that this place couldn't get any better, but we're about to take it to the next level by adding nachos to the equation. delicious and who doesn't love a good nacho or taco? Living on the road we don't actually often get to cook because it's not really convenient to buy groceries for one or two days so when we settle somewhere we really like to take advantage of it and book Airbnbs with good kitchens. All right I think it's time to get the fire going what do you think Buzz? Great idea nachos will be ready in 10. So just behind me over there 
We have fireplace number one, which is kind of like a heater for the bedroom because you're totally exposed. It's like a tent, so you're pretty much sleeping outside. So that's an epic thing to have. We have fireplace number two. This place is insane. Two fireplaces. I mean, did they know we'd have unripe avocados and want to make guac? No cheese grater, but this, this is better. This is more useful. Now, I don't like my guac super squishy normally. Like, I like it kind of chunky, but when it's unripe, biting into a chunk will be kind of gross. We're taking the high road. so beautiful here. Over the next two days we're going to show you guys kind of what it's like to just live up in a treehouse in a city. But what all we get up to? I hope it's entertaining. <laughs> awake, when you cook you don't have to clean and that's just the rule. And if your cook's as good as Chloe is, you don't mind cleaning. So yeah, we're going to go to bed and catch you in the morning. One of our favorite things about staying in Airbnbs is complimentary breakfasts. So it's now time for the big reveal. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Ooh, mango! Oh my smoothies. god, smoothies! Ooh. Good morning, everyone. What a way to start the day. I mean, we already have a beautiful fire going. So it's actually really chilly. It adds to the charm because it's really cozy in here. The bed is super comfortable and you've got these fireplaces around. So it's cold, but it's definitely nice. I can't even put it in words. I mean, you open your eyes and there's literally a forest at your feet. Yeah. Last night was really incredible. You really felt like you're sleeping in nature. You could hear owls hooting and frogs croaking. There's a little river down there that you could hear flowing throughout the night. Thank goodness this is pretty much outside. We've got real smoky in here. So we were told that there's this magical, beautiful, secret little river down here somewhere in this forest. So we're gonna go and try and find it now. I got a feeling it's the moment my life's gonna start. I got the feeling when the windows roll. This has to be one of the most beautiful Airbnbs we've ever stayed at. You think that to get to a place like this that's so remote and on your own and magical. Whoa, I think this is the second tree house. So the owners of the place actually have two tree houses on their property and I think, well, I think for sure this is the second one. I think they'd have to drive like three hours or something out of the city to get to such a remote, beautiful place. But this is literally in the city. It was maybe a 10 minute drive from where we live and it's near some of our favorite coffee shops, but yet you still feel like you're the only person within miles and miles and miles. benches at little checkpoints along the way in case you need a rest. Oh, wait, that's the wrong way. We found our tree house. Wow, you can really see how tucked away it is. They built it so well and it's just like nestled on the hill up here. So cool. This is so incredible. I can't believe this is footsteps from our door. And we have it all to ourselves. 
there's this awesome picnic table, so I think maybe we'll come and have lunch down here. I just found a bridge. Dave. Bridge? Yeah, we can cross the river. Let's go do it. No, don't ever stop. The sun will show the way. I know the road to take. Throw all our cares away. I don't need to knock on wood. When you're out by my side. So they really, really underplayed how cool this this hike is and how fun it is to kind of explore around this river. It's pretty magical. There's bridges across the street, creek, bridges across the creek. And um, it's just so cool to walk around and explore down here. Epic, epic, epic. We love it when Airbnbs have stuff to do in it too. After exploring that magical river just down there, we came back up here to read and to do some work and we just sat in this really beautiful spot with the sun shining on us, birds chirping all around. And so now, to keep up with this relaxed day, because we have not even left this place, we are going to take advantage of the outdoor bath. barbecuing everything, even the pasta. So it's gonna be extra delicious because we're working extra hard for it. We've got 80s music on, we've got food on the grill and a beautiful bottle of Prosecco. I don't know how this night could get any better. This place has just been treating us so, so well. So much so that we've already extended for another night. To be honest, I never want to leave here. <laughs> but we're not just here to see a really cool Airbnb. It's also a bit of a celebration for us. We want to celebrate 2020 because it was the year that we started our channel. And we also want to use this time to kind of plan what we're going to do in 2021 with our channel and our business. And do, this is the best possible place to do that. I don't think you can see us through the smoke. <laughs> Woo! Cheers, love. water bottle, fire going, hot coffee. It's like I'm back in Canada, <laughs> but in all seriousness, it's actually really cozy. It makes it, it's just like camping, luxury camping. But yeah. Can you see it on the camera? Yes. Yeah, so I don't know if the hosts realized when they let us come stay here that we were gonna use all of the firewood. <laughs> I think we've lit a fire at every stage of the day, every day we've been here, but it is just so, so nice. It's been almost 48 hours since we've stepped foot outside of our wonderful tree house. And we've cooked every meal because we came with groceries, but that means we've actually run out of food. So we're gonna head out to lunch and show you guys one of our favorite, I don't know what it's ranked in our list, but it's really good. Restaurants just near here, it is... I guess you'll see when we get there. Ooh, suspense. <laughs> Shamba, a beautiful and delicious restaurant and coffee shop in Laurasia. I think it's in Laurasia. It's really, really cool because it's kind of built into this huge red barn 
and then you can either sit on that side of it or in the garden down here. We'll show you around. Of course, an almond milk cappuccino, and this may be our fourth or fifth coffee of the day, but I mean, how can we not get a frothy, delicious drink when we're out? As you know, if you've seen our last video, which was the five best coffee shops in Nairobi, we love coffee. Cool, so we've just got our food and we are starving. What I've got over here is a vegetarian burrito. And then we also got one of their specials for this month, which is a sweet and sour tofu. It's got tons of veg and some delicious looking steamed rice. We are excited. And what the waiter calls liquid fire. Okay, first of all, liquid fire is so accurate. <laughs> their hot sauce is so spicy. It kind of tastes like the habanero version of Tabasco. So Tabasco just on fire. We pretty much always split our food because why have one meal when you can have two? And everywhere we go, the menu is always so delicious so we just want to try everything. So when we did our official grocery shop before going to the treehouse, we were silly and didn't get anything for dessert. So we have been sugar deprived for the last two days, which doesn't seem like that much, but we're addicted to sugar. So we got this, it's a vegan brownie. We've never tried it before, but when there's something yummy sounding that's vegan, we like to try it. Oh my God, that's really good. I can't believe it's vegan. Since Shamba, we have not done anything but just hang out here, relax. Well, not really relax, we've been working. But um, yeah, so we're gonna continue up with the theme of food because we've just ordered in dinner from Asmara, this delicious Ethiopian place. I have no idea what we've ordered because Chloe's ordered it, but it smells amazing. I can't wait to dig in. Honestly, I don't really know what I ordered, just something with vegetables, so let's see. Somehow, all of that is just two meals. So I ordered two Asmara vegetables and it is all of that food, which is awesome because I'm starving. Oh. Okay, so this looked amazing, but I can vouch for it. It tastes insane. This is so, so, so good. Highly recommend this as a takeout. Go for it. So that's the end of our Airbnb treehouse adventure. We have a couple really cool things coming up in the next coming weeks. So we'll see you next week. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.